Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Newcastle Racecourse here on Friday. It is the 7th of April, 2023. Gonna look at the first race to 115 from Newcastle, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5 for more selections for race courses around the world. The first race to 115, it's the bird on stakes. It's listed stakes for class one horses, going for $120,000 purse. Race for three year olds here. Field of 11 horses, going 1,600 meters or a mile on the all weather tapete surface my top selection here i'm gonna go with the number eight horse oblex i'm gonna go eight five ten in your tri cash trifecta a five ten tri cash trifecta top selection eight horse oblex uh this three year cult by see the stars uh john and thady gazin trains rab havlin gets them out horse hasn't been seen since the 28th of september that came at um Newcastle, one mile in a class five handicap. Guess what? He's a course and distance winner, winning by quite open lengths, winning by seven and a half lengths, speed from the inside. He quickened up nicely off of that, and he kept going. Going down in class, I thought it was a good race. He is stepping up in class to a listed company today. Not the world's toughest listed race. I like the inside poster again. He has some forwardly pace, and I think he could get the job done to find the winner's enclosure again in his three old campaign debut. Two back here on the 14th of September at Yarmouth. Uh, good ground, seven furlongs in a class four main race, and he finished second by one three quarter lengths that day. He was on the drive. He needed something more late, like an extra furlong would have really appreciated him. But, you know, he got around the race course well. I didn't think it was a half bad race. And then on debut on the July course in Newmarket, 26th of August, seven furlongs in a class four novice race. He finished second by three and three quarter lengths there and he was under the drive just not excelling there he definitely need the race for the experience but he's definitely been improving every single run coming to listed company today i'm gonna give him a shot here i think his second likeliest winner here is the five horse deer my friend for james doyle and uh, mark johnston uh most recently in the zetland stakes at newmarket over the mile a quarter eighth of october off the two-month refreshing he finished third by four and a half lengths that day the two in front of him are decent horses this horse just wasn't getting anywhere uh before then listed six at doville in august one mile there he finished third by one half lengths and again got down the race course well he probably ran the best race of his life in defeat um but he, he got beat by better horses um and then before the in the vintage stakes at goodwood in july he finished fifth by four and three quarter lengths there just absolutely had nothing never quickened up there uh but on debut one nice like carlisle and then one by open likes on very fast ground at beverly after that refreshing here you know, I'll give him a shot here because some of those races in the fall, um, in, the, in, in the late fall or late summer, were definitely tough races. He's not nearly as facing tough races, uh, tough um, horses today. I think he can get a good trip. I'll use him in the place pot. Um, but to recap my selection for the first race to 115 from Newcastle, it's the Bird on Stakes. Let's take the eight horse Oblex. Give kudos to the five horse Deemer, De Deer, my friend. Eight five ten Tri Cash Trifecta. We used to both eight and five in the place pot. So go let's please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid Five. Good luck, everybody.